getting uh, more uh, East Indian, Pakistani population. True business investment. Can someone shift here in Canada with family and... Uh... Yes, a minimum of a $100,000 investment. Can someone purchase land over here in Canada? Yes. Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. Badis and Badis, what up? Now, Bezban, Ali Jannat, all the way from Canada. Today, I have to interview the mayor of town and I have come to the office. So, come on, let's go inside and let's go inside. And the mayor of town and the mayor of town ask them to 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 ask them. टाउन है ट्रॉशू बेसिकली ये इमिग्रेंट्स ने ही आबाद किया था तो बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग इंटरव्यू होने जा रहा है लेट्स मूव सो आइए इस वक्त मैं मेयर ऑफ द टाउन के ऑफिस में मौजूद हूँ और आइए उनके ऑफिस में चलते हैं और बात करते हैं हेलो सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर अप्रिशियस टाइम आई रियली अप्रिशिएट दैट फर्स्टली टेल एस अबाउट योर सेल्फ सर ओके I'm the mayor of the town of Troshu. I've been the mayor for 20 years and on town council for 20, just about 22 years. Um, I was born and raised in Troshu, uh, so I've been here since 1964. Uh, this is the place I call home and uh, looking to improve or grow our community, we know we have to do it through immigration. There's just no other uh, possibility. What is so special about this town and how about the people who live over here? Well, I think what's special about the town is uh, we have a very diverse town. Um, but one thing, when you drive around Troshu or walk around Troshu, you'll find uh, almost everybody smiles and gives you a wave or stops to talk to you. Um, it's just a very uh, nice uh, community to live in with a lot of great people. Yes, indeed, I have seen many people around and they are very much supportive and cooperative as well. So, sir, what is the role of town that supports local economic development and contribution to the growth of the community? So, the town is uh, committed to, we did a strategic plan a couple of years ago and we're, we're committed to uh, get ourselves out of the way of any type of business growth as much as possible. So one of the one of the things is you don't need a business license to op operate a business in Troshu. Uh, plus, we work very closely with the Alberta government on the Alberta uh, Entrepreneur Stream and the Alberta Renewal Stream. Um, and, it, and after that, uh, there is local community-led supports um, in Neal County. That's the county we're in with things like uh, FCSS and. Uh, Nihil Adult Learning Service. Um, so uh, if, if, uh, if someone needed to brush up on their English, there is a way to um, access that. Oh, that's good to know. So, sir, town of Troshu, as you mentioned, uh, comes under rural renewal stream and that uh, empowers immigrants and uh, foreigners, foreign nationals to live, work and uh, settlement in, in the community. How good is that? It's fantastic. Um, uh, it's been really key for our largest employer, which is uh, Santerra, mm -hmm. um, and also our uh, agriculture employers, um, whether it be the grain elevators or the uh, machinery dealerships, anything to do in agriculture. Um, very hard to find employees locally, um, so the program has been uh, wonderful. So basically, if you're uh, if, you, if you have some type of trade, uh, you can get over to Canada, and I think in I believe it's one year you can fast track if you're doing a good job and, and not getting in any trouble. You can fast track to Canadian residency, and I believe one year. I just want to know about this beautiful town of Trowshu, that uh, founder of uh, this town. And basically, I just heard that this town belongs to the immigrants. Well, it does. It's uh, basically was French, uh, Frenchmen. Uh, they immigrated over here after the, uh, or before the First World War. Um, some of them got called back to fight in the war. But if you go around their community and uh, you'll notice a lot of French names. So it was, um, it was the French that uh, settled here. Uh, then we had the, the Finns and this, uh, Troshu was built on immigration. About Im immigrants, uh, if we talk about the type of businesses, what are the business opportunities town offer 
that leads to immigration. If you're looking at new businesses or existing businesses, but new business, um, I would say that one thing in our strategic plan uh, that come up is we are sh short a convenience store, some sort of convenience store. Ooh, that's um, good. We had, we had one uh, in town, but it didn't survive through COVID. Um, restaurants are always welcome, um, especially restaurants that will be considered to stay open seven days a week um, or even six days. Um, on a larger scale, I don't know whether anyone out there is interested in something like this, but a hotel and a truck stop um, would be important. A truck stop would also uh, give you an opportunity to uh, bring some more people over uh, to drive trucks. Um, in between Calgary and Edmonton, Highway 21 is the second main corridor and there isn't a truck stop on Highway 21 directly. What are the new and small businesses in the town that Troshu is looking for and how Troshu can assist immigrants in that regard? Well, um, so first off, we, we do have our incentives. It's a new build um, on the tax forgiveness, um, uh, complete forgiveness on the property tax for the first two years and then ramp down. Uh, after year five, you start paying full property tax. That's if it's a new business, new build. Um, so the other thing is, uh, you know, uh, taxi service. We don't have one of those in the local area. Um, some type of small shuttle bus mm -hmm. or even a taxi could uh, take people to their doctor's appointments if they had to go to the city for some reason. Um, we don't have a, uh, uh, economical price clothing place. So there's nowhere to buy local men's or ladies clothes. So something like that. Um, I think could work here too. Um, and then of course we have, uh, I, I mentioned uh, a pub and restaurants, uh, some place where you can go have a beer after work or go there to watch a hockey game, football game, oh. cricket match, <laughs> um, and, and, and or soccer. Through business investment, can someone shift here in Canada with the family and uh, yes, if, through immigration and get a permanent resident status? So it, uh, the process is the um, person who wants to invest here will come over and do a tour of the community, um, decide what they want to invest in. Uh, I'll spend the day with them if they want to come over and we can look around. I can give them some ideas of what's available. Um, if they decide that Troshu is the place that they'd like to be and they have any type of uh, business that our, our council thinks is needed in Troshu mm -hmm. or could be replaced in an existing business and you hit all the criteria of the rural entrepreneur stream such as a minimum of a $100,000 investment. All right. uh, net worth I believe is um, $300,000. All right. Then if you're a successful business, um, um, after one year, then you can apply for permanent residency and bring your family over. All right, and there's a, a question that if someone is outside of Canada, yes. let's say in India, Pakistan, Philippines, Bangladesh, so they need to invest first, they need to put money first, and then uh, they need to come over? that they know they need to come over first. They need to come over first. Yeah. And for that, they need to do some kind of paperwork and Correct. something according to the town, uh, like agreement and all that. Yeah. They have to go through that first and th then they can come over and buy business. Correct. So, okay. That's so now the other thing that we can do, and we have done with some people in the past, if someone's interested, we can set up a, a video conference call All right. um, and just talk about some ideas so if someone said yeah I was interested in um, gonna use a hotel developing a hotel or a truck stop or something like mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. um, we, we would welcome the you know initial conversation um, via zoom or some other mechanism all right um, however in order for the paperwork to all move forward eventually you have to do up come out and do a, a town visit all right so if the business doesn't work does it make any impact on someone permanent residence status and so quite frankly we don't want to see anyone come over 
and invest in something that isn't going to be hmm. successful. So Colored can cooperate and uh, provide some kind of assistance. Correct. Regarding business. At, at the end of the day, um, the business case is up to the person who is coming and wanting to invest. I mean, the town will 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 support the most, the best we can, but there is no, no I can't guarantee a, 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 a a winning business. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I can tell you is if it's a new business in town and a new building, uh, there is property tax forgiveness, um, um, full forgiveness for the first two years and then it tapers off after that. It, for Troshu? Yes. It has to be a new business, not an existing business. It has to be a new building. So not that much property tax? Right. Oh, okay. For the first, for the first two years, two, zero. Two years. Yeah. All right, that's a good news as well. So, sir, can someone purchase land over here in Canada? Is that easy to uh, grab land over here? Yes. Um, so, Troshu currently we we sit uh, we have eighty acre and uh, annexed land wow. that the town of Troshu owns. Um, if someone was interested in coming and purchasing some of that land and building on it, doing something with the land, uh, the Town of Troche would be very interested. We 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 do not um, sell our land for someone who just wants to land bank or wait for the price of the land going up. Uh, the land would be a very reasonable price, but there is a commitment to building something. Well, building farmhouse or something. Yeah, sure. So oh, okay. uh, our eighty acre area structure plan right now has about twenty acres of uh, commercial industrial. Uh, uh, lots in there and the other 60 is for residential. Lastly, any message you would like to give to our audience? Yeah, for sure. Um, Troshu is open for business and we are open for uh, new faces to, in our community and uh, we love the diversity that Troshu has, um, has, has taken on. We have a very large Filipino population uh, we're getting um, a more uh, East Indian population, some Pakistan, Pakistani population, and we're very supportive, the community is supportive of, uh, of the immigration. So we'd love to have you here. All right, so thank you very much for your precious time. Thank Thanks you very much.